Now back to politics and last night's landslide win for Senator Hillary Clinton in West Virginia. As you might imagine, her 41-point rout, complete with all the racial overtones that went with it, are prompting a flood of reaction on the political blogs. Matt Lewis is a contributing writer with the conservative website townhall.com. John Aravosis is founder of americablog.com. Gentlemen, great to see you both today. Matt, let's take a look at what JAG from California writes on Town Hall today. Barack Obama is going to have a hard time holding Pennsylvania, Florida, Indiana, Ohio, etc., where all those bitter, white, church-going, gun lovers live. The mainstream media might think Barack Obama's connection to right and black lib theology is old news, but if the Republicans can't make this one of the campaign's biggest issues, they won't even be trying. What are they saying about race, uh, Matt? when you're talking to them about uh, McCain and Barack Obama in the fall. I think our, our commenters make a very good point. You know, Barack Obama, I don't think he's won a campaign. Uh, I think he's won one election since February. We've had big states like Pennsylvania and West Virginia that Hillary Clinton have won. Um, and, you know, Hillary's making a pretty compelling argument that these swing states, year in and year out, electorally, are what elect Republicans or Democrats. Barack Obama is making an argument that the paradigm has shifted, that this is a new kind of campaign. And I tell you what, I get a little bit nervous anytime someone tells me, hey, everything that worked in the past, forget that. We're going to do something different this time. I think Democrats should be a little bit nervous about the idea that West Virginia won't matter and Ohio and Pennsylvania won't matter. <laughs> All right, so around. Matt, Come I'm on. marking you down Come in the on. don't like change column. John, let's go to you. Uh, the, here's one from Soundboy Jeff who writes this on AmericaBlog.com. Is it just me or are Hillary's actions, insisting she's a viable candidate, continuing to force people to focus on her rather than McSame, painting her more as more Ralph Nader-like, not in the political sense, in the sense that she's deflecting people from the real presidential race, Obama Absolutely. versus, and this guy's name for him, McSane. Yep. Big what do you think? Yeah, John McCain. Absolutely. Um, I, I want to kind of mention something first on the previous point. You know, we can talk all about West Virginia, but the bottom line is Obama is beating Hillary in the delegate count. Obama is beating Hillary in the polls nationwide. And Obama is beating John McCain in the polls nationwide. So, you know, unfortunately, I have to concede that we lost West Virginia last night, except that our candidate is winning the nationwide race, so I'm not too worried. But, um, you know, getting to Hillary, I think Hillary has a real problem right now in that she doesn't want to talk about the math. She wants to write off people like Tim Russert and Chuck Todd, who actually know the numbers better than any of us will in our lifetime. She's lost the race. She can't win the race, and she's staying in, and she's hurting our candidates. Our candidates are telling us, I had a House candidate and a Senate candidate tell me, that they're having a hard time raising money because she's still in the race. But their their it, donors aren't looking at them. Okay, but it's there are people who say that race is an issue when they go go to the ballots and vote in these primaries. There sure. are those people. There's people who say is gender's it, their issue. Uh, of course, we have people who think that way. You know, is what it, do you do? Is it perilous to ignore that? Well, I'm not sure how you ignore it or don't ignore it. I mean, there's there's people who don't want to vote for a woman for for president. I understand that. I think it's wrong. There's some people who won't vote for a black man as president. What we're seeing in the polls is that that's not happening. And frankly, you know, you could talk about West Virginia. Um, even Hillary's camp said that West Virginia wasn't a problem of racism. So I'm not sure where race comes in here. But if race is a problem in some states, then it's a problem in some states. But currently, you know what? We're still beating John McCain. So I'm, I'm not too worried about it. Matt, you're beating, him, you're, you're it? beating him nationally. But there's not going to be a national election on November. We're beating him in the key states. Now wait a minute, Matt. Matt, one second here. How, why, why is it that? Why is it that you Look think at Mississippi. that? Okay, one second here, guys. Why is it, Matt, that you think? Fifty-seven, if you believe Obama. Can I please make my point? Okay. What, why is it, Matt, that you think in West Virginia you've got two Democratic candidates up for grabs? The voters go to the polls and they say, I'm going to go for Hillary Clinton. Why do you think that they're necessarily going to vote against Barack Obama come election time? I mean, they're Democrats. Right. Well, I think that what it, and, and it's not just race, I think it's also elitism. I think Barack Obama comes across <laughs> as sort of a, a, oh, a, a rich elite snob. And look, I, I think there is a correlation. Uh, and John McCain because nine houses is not Barack, a rich elite snob. Wait, wait, snob. let him finish. Let Matt finish. Go ahead, Matt. Barack Obama didn't just get beat in West Virginia, he got thumped, he got whooped. And I do believe that that will carry over. John McCain has but more has in it. common with a lot of the voters in West Virginia than Barack Obama does. Oh, he has we're just nine all houses. talking about each other here. Vote. John, uh, Matt, John, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you both. John McCain I has nine it. houses. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Up next, Barack